Hello everybody and welcome to Captain Hype TV. This is my second episode about my visit to the Tesla Gigafactory in Grünheide. Here I'm going to talk about all the things I learned and saw when I was visiting the stamping process on the factory tour. Let's take a look. According to the poster at the entrance to the stamping street, these presses can give a pressure up to 2,500 tons. Every 3.75 seconds it is planned to have one to two components coming out of the press street, depending on the pressing tool, whether there is one component or two components in one pressing tool. And there is around about 230 people which are going to work in the pressing area. The stamping presses street is inside an extra building in the hangar. You can see this building here in the little clip and at the front end of this building, which is there, I guess, mainly for noise protection, you can see several doors where the raw material can be fed into the stamping press street. Here you can see the raw sheet metal sheets arriving on automated ground vehicles to the press street just outside the press street housing. Through the window in the door of the press street housing you can see the end effectors of the robots with multi-suction cup to handle the sheet metal pieces and feed the first press. Here you can see the first half of the stamping tool that was on display. You can see the very high surface finish quality as well as the small ejector rods that will push out the sheet metal once it has been stamped. The second half of the stamping tool on display clearly shows the rear wheel wheel and the front of the car. The black rods pointing out of the tool are used to center the tool against each other while stamping. When walking along the stamping press housing in the process direction, the first thing one can see is a tool exchange area for one of those end effectors with the vacuum suction cups on it. In the center you can see the quick exchange adapter which is the mechanical link that the robot can quickly connect to. In this area the end effector can be prepared or maintained. Once done, the maintenance people leave this area and lock the cage around it and then the whole red door will rotate taking the used end effector out of the operating area of the robots and presenting the newly prepared end effector to the robots for the next working steps. The first step of the press forming process is the deep drawing of the car component. On display in front of the press was the front lid, two components. In the rear through the window you can see the robot delivering the raw sheet metal piece from the right to the press. Then you have the stamping process, in this case one of four, and then the stamping press opens again and the robot to the left extracts the stamped part while the robot to the right is feeding already the next sheet metal. The second step is basically the same as the first step with respect to feeding the press with the component. However, the tool in the second step does trimming and piercing of the component. Third step, trimming and piercing again. 
See how the front lid changes its shape. The fourth step is restriking, trimming and pushing the flanges down. There is a fifth press station which was not in use for the four step tool shown on display. After this fifth press station, the components are being put onto a conveyor belt that leaves the stamping housing. At the side of this last station, two red doors can be seen. Both of them are again tool changes for robot and effector exchanges. Last part of the stamping press street is the conveyor belt on which the components exit the stamping house and here they can be put into the transport jigs for the next step. Model Y side panels in their transport jigs freshly from the stamping process. Here you can see a very nice display of all the components that were manufactured in the stamping process. The doors, the side panels, the front lid and the trunk lid. That's it for today from my Gigafactory Visit factory tour. I hope it was interesting for you to learn a little bit more about the stamping process and what I could learn on that day. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon and goodbye.